this question is interesting one because I feel like it's a question I don't get very often but I'm excited to answer it so it's just straight into the point the question is how to feel attractive again so I would start with where do I feel disconnected where do you feel disconnected to your body and also, I'm, I, I assume, correct me if I'm wrong, but I assume this person is focused at least more on feeling attractive physically in their, in their being, in their, in their skin. But the truth is, you know, attraction, attractiveness is not just physical at all. However, it's what we tend to focus on as a society until we break those patterns. So let's just zoom out for a second and consider this is not all physical body. And if you've been focusing on just the physical body, how can you remember like a soul remembrance of all those other things that make you attractive? So for example, I think my husband's a super hot man. I think he's super sexy. And at the same time, I'm not just attracted to him because he has strong muscles, okay, or like great eyes. I'm also attracted to my husband because of who he is in his soul. I'm attracted to my husband because of how thoughtful and considerate he is and how patient, how patient he is and kind. So you have all of those things as well. It's not just this body underneath that is your heart your soul and likely if you ask whether it's a romantic partner or a person of the opposite sex or just like a friend if if they if you ask them what do you find attractive about the, you if i ask them what do you find attractive about this person they may answer, oh, she has beautiful eyes. She's got great hair. Her nails are always pretty. But it depends on who you ask. But I, I would argue that likely they're not going to just say, oh, you have pretty eyes. They're also going to say she has a kind heart. She tells it like it is. She has an inner strength that I just admire so deeply. So let's debunk that it has to be physical. Can we all agree on that? Can we agree on that? Can I get an amen, <laughs> okay? And at the same time, I fully realize that you wanna feel good in your physical body. You do wanna feel good. You want to feel like attractive even to your to yourself, right? There's nothing wrong with that. So when I feel disconnected to my body, this is going back to where I first started, where do you feel disconnected? Do I feel disconnected to a certain part or place in my body? Or do I feel disconnected to this whole vessel as a whole? Do I want to escape this body? Like what is going on underneath that not feeling attractive? What is the root of the disconnect? And then one of my favorite ways, because I felt this before too. I've definitely felt like, oh God, this like, I just, I look like shit today. Oh, Sarah, are, are you ever going to wash your hair? <laughs> like all the things especially as a woman who has melasma and vitiligo and a lot of skin issues. Yeah, like this, this shit comes up. So to get back connected to my body, so what is the disconnect and then how can I reconnect? And this will be different for every person based on the disconnect, but for the reconnect, I like to literally practice like touching myself, grabbing all parts of my body and touching. You can even do um, like a tapping, like a light tapping on your whole body. 
how often do we touch ourselves? I don't know. Maybe you touch yourself a lot. <laughs> maybe you don't ever at all. And just touching. Um, there's also like a more sensual touch for ourselves, which is feather light touch. You can literally like grab a feather or you can just, it's like a little self tickle. A little tickle tickle. It might turn you on a little bit. Just really like tickle. And you could like on your belly, it feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good to do that on your belly. So you're getting back into your body and you're like, oh, that part of me that I never touch and I disconnect with and I hate, like, what if I just lovingly embraced it and touched it? Uh, Self-pleasure, masturbation is another way to take that a step further and turn yourself on. Turn yourself on, girl. There is nothing wrong with that. And that allows you to reconnect to your source, your yoni, your womb as well. And the power and the creation energy that is within orgasm is one of the most potent, literally like life forces, life creating forces in this entire world, planet, cosmos, universe. That is a powerful fucking energy. So can you also use that power of orgasm to tap into your divine feminine and, and attractiveness on, on more of like an energetic soul power level. Dance would probably be the other thing I would add here. It's just like dance in front of the mirror, okay? So yeah, like we can dance. I, I dance in this room sometimes and there's no mirrors in here, but it can really be fun to 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 pull a mirror out and dance in front of it and just be like, yeah, look at my booty shake. Or like, let me see those shimmies, that shimmy of those shoulders. <laughs> and to to feel into yourself and, and move your body. And that's also the feminine of like embodying the, your emotions and how you're, it might start with like an angry dance because you don't feel attractive, but then can you start to lean into ease into feeling more like sensual or like my butt looks good damn she's hot and feeling yourself okay the mar the mini marathon is done <laughs> i just answered a bunch of questions inside this group uh there will be a post. I don't think it's gone out yet today, but it's Monday. So today's your chance to ask more questions when the thread goes out every Monday, free coaching with Sarah. I was a couple weeks behind because of some stuff going on in my personal life, but we're back and caught all the way, all the way up now. So enjoy this little mini marathon and I will be back on track for this week. See you guys.